Well, good morning here, or afternoon actually. It's a beautiful 70 degree day in Minnesota. Hopefully you can hear me over the wind. Maybe this will work better in the trees. But we're uh, biking the Douglas Trail today, as you saw. And uh, it's a 12 and a half mile trail down to Rochester from Pine Island. And we've done this part of this trail probably about four years ago and enjoyed it. So we're gonna do a nice early November ride in 70 degree weather. Sit back and enjoy. And we started from Pine Island Trailhead. That's the northern end of the trail and heading towards Rochester. This trail goes through a lot of different agricultural areas. Also kind of up a little bit of a grade here and through a cut on an old railroad bed. Getting towards the top of the cut here. And from here we'll head back downhill to the Zumbro River here. It's interesting to ride these trails in the fall when there's no leaves. In the uh, summer they're very covered over with leaves and they have a lot of uh, canopy and you don't really see a lot of the surrounding countryside as you're riding it. Coming through Douglas here, the trailhead there. Julie coming in as we get to the edge of Rochester itself. As we approach the city, since it was such a nice day, we started seeing more walkers and bikers on the trail. You can see the houses of the edge of Rochester there on the left-hand side. Now we're entering to the outskirts of Rochester and heading over one of the main streets. I can't remember which what name it is. They did a nice job of putting bridges and avoiding streets for the most part as you got into Rochester on this trail. Here we are at the uh, southern trailhead of the Douglas State Trail sort of in the northwest part of Rochester itself. A nice parking lot here with some bathroom facilities. We had something to eat, a little bit of water, and started on our way back to Pine Island. There'll be more video from this direction with the sun so low on the horizon, it was better shooting video with the sun behind us on the way back. Imagine this section very nice and forested in the summertime. Working our way back through Rochester here. Getting on the edge of Rochester again and heading out to the countryside. Once we sort of headed past these houses, the traffic on the trail was, was less. Back into the farmlands here in the farms. This is the first time we'd ridden the trail from the Douglas Trailhead south to Rochester. And the whole trail is very enjoyable. It's pretty flat, nice countryside views. A lot of bicyclists out enjoying the day. Very unusual in November to have 70 degree days. Coming into the Douglas Trailhead here. First time we'd ridden this trail, we started here and went to the north towards Pine Island all the way and back. It was during the summer, so it was 
quite covered with leaves on the trees and green. As you can see to the right there, there's a horse trail, but they also allow flat tire biking. So I'll have to come back down here in the spring or summer and do some fat tire biking along the trail. Back here in the open countryside, working our way uphill to the cut that's to the south of Pine Island. Gone over the cut here and now we're back down, working our way a bit downhill towards Pine Island. As you can see, many bicyclists that we encountered along the way. A lot of people coming out of Rochester, I imagine, going to Pine Island and coming back. Pretty open agricultural fields to the south of Pine Island. like all the farming or harvesting had been done for the, for the fall. Coming near Pine Island here, entering into the outskirts, coming underneath the highway, opening up into a field here of corn bales. A new way, I guess, of doing corn stalks. They roll them up in the bales to store them. Past this farm here, dairy farm, on the way into Pine Island. Coming into town, you can see the golf course there on the right. A bit of the Zumbro River here that you go over. It seems to wind its way around the trail. Coming back in here to the city park and the trailhead in Pine Island. Nice parking facility here. Pine Island's a pretty small town. There's a few restaurants and a gas station, a Dollar General. Used to be a nice A&W, but that's closed down, unfortunately. Back at the trailhead parking lot. Well, thanks for joining us on that uh, ride. It's been uh, four days in the 70s here in early November in Minnesota. That's, uh, I never, never remember that, but Douglas Trail is a nice little trail, 25 miles round trip. It's pretty much out in the country until you get to Rochester and then you're maybe about a mile and a half, two miles into the city itself. And then you turn around and come back. It's, uh, I think it's more downhill on the way back. So it makes a nice nice loop here from Pine Island to go from this direction out. And plus the wind was at our back coming back. So hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you get a chance, give it a try, the, the uh, Douglas State Trail. Douglas Trail is a nice 25 plus mile out and back trail. I'd encourage you to do it, especially in the summertime when it's green and lush. As always, thank you for watching our video. Like it if you liked it. Please comment and subscribe so you can stay current with our adventures. We'd love to have you come along with us.